you from Mary's Stamping Happenings, and this is There's a Card Thursday. I hope you really enjoy this video and cards, and if you'd like to purchase any of the products seen, you can go to my website at marytroutner.stampinup.net and click on Shop Now. Hi, this is Mary for Mary's Stamping Happening, and today is There's a Card Thursday. And I want to show you this great, non-typical St. Patrick's Day card. Uh, we were doing a class for holiday cards, and I had a really hard time coming up with a St. Patrick's Day card because there was no St. Patrick's Day current stamps from Stampin' Up. I almost gave up until I went to my stamps and I saw Baby Bear. And I thought that would make a perfect St. Patrick's Day card. So what we're going to need is we're going to need the stamp set Baby Bear. And then I'm going to use the Teeny Tiny Wishes Happy St. Patrick's Day card, St. Patrick's Day stamp. Um, what we're going to need in ink is we're going to need three different colors of green. So I'm using Mint Macaron then Cucumber Crush, and then, this is stuck on here, Emerald Envy, okay? Uh, then what we're going to need for cardstock is I'm going to be using a big piece, eight and a half by five and a half piece of Emerald Envy, okay? That's going to be our card base. We're also going to need a piece of Cucumber Crush, and this is 4x4, four four. a piece of Mint Macaron, which is 3 and a quarter by 3 and a quarter, and a piece of Whisper White, which is 3 and a half by 3 and a half, okay? I'm going to use um, some of the metallic uh, thread that you can get for free for a celebration, and I'm going to be using the silver. I am going to be needing some glue dots and some tear and tape. Okay, now I know you guys have seen my video and I'll put a, a link, well, I'll put a link at the end of this video to how to do baby bear, okay? Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need, because these are acrylic stamps, you're going to need your stamping mat. Um, now there are three stamps, it's a triple stamp. This is the one that is the full one. So that's the one that's going to get the lightest color. Oh, let's pull this one off. Going to get the lightest color and stamp first. This is the second most um, one that has the least <sighs> detail. And this will get your second lightest color, which will be Cucumber Crush. Now this is the most detailed one. And this one will get your darkest color, which is going to be Emerald Envy. So we're going to start with this. And you'll notice, let's see, you can see these little armpits. That's what I line up. So we're just going to stamp, ink this up with Mint Macaron. And I'm going to put it towards the top of this, just like this. Mary is wonderful, Mary is wonderful, Mary is wonderful. Okay, uh, I'm going to peel this off. So what I like to do is be able to see it and you can see through it. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Cucumber Crush. See, Cucumber Crush. I'm going to ink up the, that second stamp, okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the little hole, the little arm holes up, little armpits. Mary is wonderful, Mary is wonderful, Mary is wonderful. Okay, now you're starting to see it, aren't you? Okay, so now I'm going to take the most detailed one. And I'm going to ink up it, ink it, ink it up with Emerald Envy. And you can tell it's the most detailed one because it actually has less stamp on it. 
And again, I am going to, this one's a little harder. I may have to get in there because it is. Mary is wonderful, Mary is wonderful, Mary is wonderful. There, look at that. Now doesn't that look great? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Emerald Envy and my Happy St. Patrick's Day. And I'm just gonna do Happy St. Patrick's Day right underneath it. There you go, Happy St. Patrick's Day. Now I'm going to take my Cucumber Crush and my mint macaron, and I'm just going to put a couple or a few glue dots on the mint macaron. And I'm layering these. As you know, they're about a half an inch or a quarter inch different sized. Okay. And then I'm going to take the baby bear, and I'm going to Now, if you really like this, all the information on what you need is down in the description or it's on my blog at marystampinghappenings.blogspot.com. And I really would appreciate if you do like my videos that you subscribe. You can see that um, at the end. Um, and also purchase your Stamping Up products from me. If you're in the States, um, you can purchase it from me. If you're in Europe, any of the European markets, you can uh, purchase it from Amanda. More details down below in the description. Okay, now I'm going to put this whole thing on. Now you can either put it on the top or on the bottom. I like it on the top because I really like this uh, silver. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to tie a bow in it. You know, this, I'm trying to earn the cruise, so I really would, if you guys like my videos, would appreciate it if you do purchase your Stamping Up products from me. Okay, so we put the little piece of tear and tape on and we're just going to stick that down. And there you have a great St. Patty's Day card with Baby Bear. Don't you just love Baby Bear? Again, check down there for all the information about everything um, used to make this. And I'd love at marytroutner.stampinup.net if you'd purchase your Stampin' Up! products from me if you enjoyed this video. Um, or just hit, and just hit subscribe if you like them and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.